What's going on guys, it's JT here. I got a couple extra arena tries, um, and I haven't really made any videos lately, so I figured I'd make a quick arena video. Um, and I haven't honestly even been playing arena that much. I fell down to rank like 45 earlier today, but ended up picking it back up and started getting back to the top. So I'm just going to show these next four arena tries, see what I can do. Looks like we got Benson King here. Um... I'm just going to go straight up the middle, try to get that Minotaur up front, because anybody that has a level 160 Minotaur, sometimes they get lucky in their Minotaur gets to the front like that one right there, but I think mine's still a little bit ahead of his, so pretty easy win here, since the kid's only a duke. Honestly, he'd get lucky to even damage my crystal. Let's see, oh, he did damage it a little bit. <laughs> Not too bad. Who do we got next? Oh, Anal Stretcher. I don't even know what this kid's combo looks like because he's been so inactive lately. I think he just got back to active in the game. Let me see which way I want to go if I want to challenge him or not because I don't even know what his setup is. Hmm. If I go with Anal Stretcher, I just need to get at least to the sixth spot and I don't really want to face Chris Guy because it could take me two chances to beat him sometimes. I think I'll just, hmm. yeah, I'm Ogs not on. You know, me and him sometimes work together and let each other pass through. He's a pretty cool guy. Hmm, I guess I'll just challenge Anal Stretcher. Let's see what this kid's got. As long as my mini gets up front, I don't think there's any combo that can beat me. That 9 on 9 Minotaur takes so much energy away from the Pumpkin Duke. Nobody's Pumpkin Duke can even proc. Which is pretty badass. Let's see what he's got here for his setup. I'm real curious. Oh, TG up the middle. That's, man. Okay, so he's doing Grizzly Reaper with the Spirit Mage setup. Yeah, that ain't gonna. That doesn't have a chance. Golly, that's a weird. That's a weird placement for those heroes. Yeah, I don't even know what that's all about. It's a pretty easy farm right there. He's a cool guy though, I like Anal Stretcher. Um, normally me and Papa the Bear cooperate and team up, but if we get down to the top top 10 or top 5 normally, we don't challenge each other, but since Imog's not on, I'm not going to risk not beating him. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and beat Papa the Bear, and if he's on later, I'll tell him where my guys are and he can beat me back. Oh wow, Papa the Bear uses a Atlanta core. It's kind of weird, weird strategy. Hmm. Wonder how that works for him. I guess it works pretty well because he stays in the top ten pretty regularly. He's an awesome guy and uh, great player at this game. I'll go ahead and take rank one and see if I can get that 44, 40 an hour. Put these guys right up the middle. Golly, water guns in rank one. I haven't seen him. I don't know if I've ever seen him in rank one. That's congratulations, man. Way to work your way up. It's hard to get rank one, especially if you're only in Harch Duke. Nice job, bud. Well deserved. Hate to take it from you, but <laughs> sometimes I gotta do it. I like seeing new people at uh, rank one. Nice. Means people, different people are getting active and pushing all those old KOA members the heck out of the way. All them garbage ass kids. Oh man, four minutes. Go ahead and look at some of the chat, give some of these people that message me a response back. I like to talk to everybody that says they subscribe to me and whatnot. I'll message them back. Sometimes if there's too many messages, it's kind of hard to respond to everybody, but. I'll try my best. Anyway guys, I'm actually going on vacation for the next week, so I will not be posting videos, but when I get back I will be, so uh, you guys take it easy and have a good night.